Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Now the last PUBG fix video we did uh, was covering basically the Agesa and the initialization of processor cores. And with PUBG having to set the affinity, especially when you have a Ryzen processor, in my case that's overclocked, and your motherboard hasn't had a BIOS update yet that addresses it. And during that video, we had Dragon Shot uh, post another fix for the uh, Pack Chunk fix, which in my case, all my files were fine. What that one is, guys, is it's basically uh, where the files have become corrupted, and you have to delete them so that Steam will re-download those. So we're going to cover two different things today. And by the way, I believe it was Liquid Gaming went ahead, or Liquid Force went ahead and made a video for Dragon Shot's pack chunk fix and it looks like another user which is Convix TV was lucky enough to have a motherboard update that addressed the crashing on lobby and then on launch so on this one uh, we're gonna look at uh, a new program that user Gus MD had put out to set affinity a little bit easier and we'll go over the uh, pack chunk fix as well which actually on Twitter they were putting that out as of June 28 about the pack chunk fix to go in there and delete them or anything that does not begin with PAK chunk. So we'll go over that and I'll show you all that new program that GusMD did. The funny thing is in the PUBG forums where I found this uh, for the GusMD PUBG fix program about four posts down is also the fix for the pack chunk <laughs> files. So. Uh, First things first, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the pack chunk fix, which is basically just deleting files in your Steam. Now, there's two ways to go about this, and guys, I really uh, would push for you to get used to using your file explorer rather than going through Steam. That way you know where these files are, because this does kind of uh, go into any game that you have problems with or you're modding. So go into wherever Steam is installed, in my case, local disk C. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Now this will be all the games that you have any game uh, data on, installed or not. So if we go into PUBG, TSL Game, and I believe it's Content Packs. Now the whole fix is for anything that does not have Pack Chunk at the beginning. Now, the following numbers aren't relevant as long as it fix what they call the syntax, what the game's looking for, which is uh, pack chunk in the leading name. So if you have zeros, ones, any number after it's fine, but if you have anything that does not begin with this, go ahead and delete that out of your files, and whenever you reload Steam or launch PUBG, it should find any files it needs, or you'll see there's no corruptions, no problems. So that's one of the launch fixes that's out right now. Now if you're like me and you don't have a motherboard update uh, for your BIOS and you're still having trouble on launch and exit to lobby, that's where this comes in. I'll have this in the comments as well or in the video description. We're going to download this PUBG or pubfix.zip. And what this program does is it basically shortens us having to go into our task manager and details finding TSL game right clicking all that good stuff to set affinity so on this once you download it let's go to my downloads it's gonna be in a zip file so go ahead and right click extract all and extract it to that same folder that you download it to after that you can delete the zip if you want now there's a big deal here that you do need to do so don't skip over this step double click in the folder and go to pubfix this is the actual uh, application we need to right click go to properties and hit unblock and apply that's windows little built-in security because it's not sure because it came from another source now once you've got that uh, let's just make a link to our desktop so right click it send to desktop which apparently I already had one from before the video now you can put this on your primary or your secondary monitor if you're streaming I'd say put it on your secondary but go ahead and double click it 
and I imagine this program you could use for saying Affinity for just about anything. But you'll notice it already has the executable that PUBG uses, and that's the one we're going to be looking for. You can actually minimize the little command prompt behind, but we'll show you what it's actually going to be doing. Set that right there and there. Now when you hit start monitoring, it's going to be looking for when you launch PUBG. So it's going to be a little strange on a single monitor trying to show y'all, but we'll launch PUBG and see if we can see it before it hits. As soon as that process hits, it says found, hit set to single core, and you'll see he's got us a little script right there that's setting the affinity to one, which is just one core on your processor. Now with me using uh, GeForce to record this video, I'm not sure how Pub's going to react because you're not supposed to use overlays, but that's the whole reason I've tried to get around it. Now see guys, we launched just fine without crashing. Now, set to all cores. Now, you can go ahead and minimize that. And let's say you went ahead and went to a uh, match here. Usually on mine, exit to lobby would also crash. So what we'll do is, we'll let it start queuing. We'll, you know, alt tab to bring up the pub fix when we're ready. And we'll be able to set to all cores. Or excuse me, set to single core. So to get it straight, on launch set to single core. And then as soon as it's, you know, booted up, kick it back to all cores. And right before you're about to exit to lobby, like let's say you just finished a match, go ahead and set to single core, exit back to lobby, and kind of the same thing. Once you see it's back up, kick it back in, all cores. It's a lot easier than having to bring up ta the huge task manager, trying to find it under details and all of that. So that's one easy way, guys. And the very last thing, since I was pushing File Manager on you, is I'm sure all of you know, but if you're in your Steam and you want to find your game files quicker and you don't like navigating uh, through File Manager, just right-click on the game in your library, go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files, and that'll take you directly through everything we just did on going through Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Now, um, like I said, those are the two little fixes right now for startup crashing and exiting the lobby. Uh, another video, we'll start going through the power of accessing the percent app data percent folder. Now, the big deal with this is some of the uh, users that are still having different weird crash problems at different stages are going to benefit from getting into here because some of the TSL game files including replays and uh, crash reports are saved through here so we'll go into that in another video but guys that's about it uh, I want to give a good shout out to all the users who have been commenting on my video uh, it looks like together the community is going to have to keep coming out with fixes since PUBG isn't you know immediately addressing this stuff but guys, appreciate you watching. Feel free to hit up the comments. If you got any suggestions for other videos, hit those up too. And that's about it. Appreciate it.